so today uh, we shall be developing an uh, an causality model under VECM environment so so uh, so so we have two variables right now one is export and one is GDP so what I am doing I am opening opening both the variables open as a group so this one is my time series data of export and GDP and it start from 1980 until the data is until 2010 that means 31 years 31 years annual data is here and uh, and uh, and our target is to develop a causality model between export and GDP meaning that whether export cause GDP or GDP cause export and we shall develop this model under vector error correction model environment so that we shall develop okay but here we have few steps you have the few steps that means number one steps that these two variable must be must be integrated of same order these two variables must be integrated of the same order and that we can check using unit root test okay so what we have done here and what we are assuming here that export and GDP these two variable become stationary after first difference that we assume but personally I have not tested this this thing personally uh, I have uh, 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 personally I did not check it but I assume that export and GDP become stationary after first difference that means at level they are non stationary at level both the variables are non stationary but after first difference they become stationary so meaning that meaning that uh, now I can run the cointegration model I can run the Johansen cointegration model because both the variables become stationary after first difference because according to Johansen uh, model the variables must be integrated of same order only then I can run the Johansen test not before that okay so now uh, first I run the Johansen test I go to quick and I go to group statistics and the Johansen test of cointegrations I click here okay here I put two variables export and GDP right uh, you, you can see two variables and these two variables right now is non-stationary 
because uh, uh, because uh, because in Johnson model in Johnson test the variables must be non stationary at level but but it must be stationary after first difference and so on but initially it must be non stationary so here these two variables are non stationary that i assume that i assume but i, I have not tested uh, this thing using augmented dicky fuller test uh, that means uh, i have not done any unit root test just assuming these two variables become stationary after first difference okay then what i do uh, i i choose okay okay so here there are many options right you can see uh, six option suppose uh, i choose option number three and here i choose lag four okay there are many approach to choose choose the lag there are many methods but here i am not talking about all those methods so what i am doing i am just putting lag four right meaning that suppose lag four is the most appropriate for this particular johansen cointegration model that i assume and here number three option uh, suppose i assume this one is the best option right so now these are these are the assumptions then i can proceed right then i can proceed uh, for testing johansen model but make sure this lag lag issue has many methods so we can apply we can apply those things but here i am not doing okay then i choose okay so the result is coming up between the test of cointegrations yes the result has come up johansen cointegration results and you know we have the two series right export and gdp and here uh, actually uh, you can see at none what does mean by none uh, what is none none means uh, suppose there is no cointegration there is no cointegration <laughs> equation that is the null hypothesis that there is no cointegration vector but this none we can reject from here you can see when the p value is less than 5% then we can reject null hypothesis that there is no integrated vector so we can easily reject because the p value here is 2.99% which is less than 5% right so we can re we can easily reject null okay but what about here at most one at most one means uh, there is one cointegrated vector right so can i reject no because the p value is is more than 5% so we cannot reject null meaning that uh, there is one cointegrated equation 
or vector in uh, um, uh, one co-integrated equation between these two variables such as export and GDP so you can see so here is the decision okay so this one is called actually trace statistics this result is coming from trace statistics and here is the decisions right you can see trace test indicates one co-integrating equation at 5% level So, so meaning that there is a one co-integrating equation. That means export and GDP has a long run association ship. Okay, so this one is the th this one is the outcome of trace statistics. Okay, then also we have some more output using max igen statistics right we have uh, another method which is max igen and uh, and here the same story what is the null hypothesis there is no co-integrating vector or there is no co-integration equation so can I reject this null hypothesis yes we can because the probability value is 2.48 percent which is less than 5 percent so we can reject null hypothesis so what about this one at most one the second hypothesis so this one we cannot reject because the p-value is more than five percent so we cannot reject right so meaning that we accept the null hypothesis that there is one co-integrating equations so also you can check from here this one we can we can reject null because the 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 so that uh, test statistics 16.15 is more than the critical value which is 14.26 normally when the test statistics is more than critical value we can reject null hypothesis and here we are rejecting null hypothesis but for case of second one test statistics is smaller than critical value which is 3.84 meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that we accept null hypothesis that means there is one co-integrating equation you can see from here the decision so the second one is the max eigen value test indicates one co-integrating equations what does mean by one co-integrating equation meaning that there is one error term there is a one error term in the model okay now so uh, so what is our decision trace statistics and maximum eigenvalue statistics so both are telling that export and GDP have long run association ship right so they have long run association ship so we can run the uh, we can run the 
vector error correction model. Why? Because the variables are co-integrated that we have just seen. Okay, now, uh, now, now, uh, uh, from here uh, you can see also the co-integration equation, right? Right, you can see the our uh, last time, uh, uh, last time I said that there is a one co-integration equation. You can see the that equation here, right? The one co-integrating equation is here. Uh, okay, now, uh, now, now, what is our result? That variables are co-integrated. So now uh, we can easily run vector error correction model. And what does mean by vector error correction model? So that we can use now.